When China turned away from its Maoist past in 1978, it was immediately clear that the world would be different. Even at the time, people could see that there was such fundamental change happening in China that it would ultimately reshape everything about our world. 35 years later, that's exactly what's happened. China has grown and opened and had an effect on every bit of our lives. The 21st Century China program is a think tank based at the UCSD School of Global Policy and Strategy, which is one of the leading professional schools in the United States. Our program tries to embed itself in a community of people really passionate about China. We've just been very, very fortunate to build the strongest bench of social science expertise on China that you can find in the world. My research interests um, covers China and national security, science and technology, and innovation policy, and political economy. A lot of my colleagues work in very diverse areas, um, but that very much complements each other. My research has to do with the financial sector in China. Specifically, I'm still very much interested in the ways in which elite politics drive financial and banking policies in China. 21st century China is both a resource and a forum. It provides a lot of uh, different opportunities uh, and also the potential to provide some seed funding for cutting edge research. It's wonderful for someone working on China to be at UCSD because of the really strong China community we have here. We have 15 different professors working on China and many more graduate students and undergraduates. We get together a lot, we talk a lot, we get lots of feedback on my research. Um, there are events where people come from all over the world to talk about Chinese politics. Um, I can then talk to them and have a conversation with them about the things that I'm working on. It's an amazing community community uh, to get feedback and to really improve research. In our projects, where it's not just academics, but we have all sorts of business people, finance people, journalists who really understand China well, have been working on China for a long time, and we're, we're doing research together with them. We've had great public lectures by people like Kurt Campbell, who was Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, Wu Jinglian, who is the most renowned economist leading market reforms in China, Jin Li Chun, the head of the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. People here can really see some of the leading practitioners from China, from Washington, and other parts of the world. The reason I think the academic research and our 21st century China program is important because it has set a proper goal to achieve its mission that we will get a better understanding between the two countries. We are very, very grateful to the support that we have gotten from the San Diego community uh, and more broadly who support the kind of work we're doing and believe that we're making an important contribution to better relations between the United States and China and to understanding China better. The U.S. has had to cope with a rising China that's now the second largest economy in the world, the second most powerful country in the world in certain metrics, and it challenges us to improve our game and make sure that we know how to deal with this power who has its own interests, its own outlook on the world, and its own way of doing things. Right now is a time when there's considerable friction between the United States and China. And understanding that and figuring out the right policy response to that so we don't fall back into a Cold War type of relationship is extremely important. And I see that as really one of the most significant goals that 21st century China has.